Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And as you can see, I have been busy. I've been doing a little bit more yard work around here. I cleared out this entire area over here. I don't know if you can see them, but somewhere over there, there are some space cows. So if we need want some steak, well, I've got some over there. But yeah, I went through and cleared out all these and where uh, where I'm at uh, in uh, British Columbia we had uh, many years ago we had an issue with uh, pine beetles and it was absolutely devastating the forest and you'd be driving through the interior and you'd be seeing like patches like huge acres of trees that just looked like this and this like, all the screen you'd see these patches of red almost like it was a fire but it was the pine beetle was killing it so, you know, I like to see the green, not the brown or the red or anything like that. But anyways, uh, I want to do some more fun with some hover pads today. Uh, I decided to turn this thing back on. This actually was going up, but it stopped, and that's because the hover pad stopped here. So one of the things I want to first try to do today, uh, if I can even get this thing off, I might have to throw a hover pad on here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but I want to... I want to build this ramp up and get some hover pads going up the side, see if we can actually launch this thing. Uh, I, the reason why I've been clearing out this area, and I took a look, there's actually a nice big flat area over there too that I want to try to clear out eventually. But uh, I might actually be able to do a roller coaster. It'd be really fun to do. Uh, let's see, hover pad is on number one. Let's do this. Is it going to let me get it in there? No, of course not. All right, we'll just go down one more. That is fine. That's not a hover pad. Oh, you could do that on me, on me, are you? There we go. And it got about, geez, what was it? Almost 80 stacks of biomass from all these trees. Oh, good time for an autosave. At least it's not raining. Uh, power. Uh, where was my switchboard? It's not on my bar, what do you know? And I have yet to use the multiple hotbars now. I always forget. So used to the old school. It's like when people tell me, oh, why don't you use the, the long conveyors? Oh, God, you know how many times I've used the small conveyors? I'm just like so used to them. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick it, separate this one off of that. Let's get another one here. Where did I put that? Uh, zero. Yes. Uh... Yeah, we'll finish that up. And then we'll connect that one to there. And to there. And then we'll turn that one off. And then turn that one on. Yes. So that way these aren't powered, but I'm getting powered down at the end here. Once I connect it, that is. Oh, that light can be killer sometimes. Uh, it's a good thing I don't have the helicarrier right now. The lag definitely would kill me, that's for sure. Uh. Alright, I got this connected wrong. Okay. Connecting you to there. Connecting this one down to the end. I connected that to there for some stupid reason. Oh, I want to reach. Oh. Uh, well, let me build. <laughs> it won't let me build in build vision. That's funny. Alright. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, bear with me. Really? Come on, that's not 40 blocks. What's going on here? Oh, they must have changed that. We might have to investigate. Okay, I'll connect there and there. But why will this one? So two, four. That should be in range. Or just out. I have no idea. Seems kind of odd though, but anyways, let's go ahead and get our jack going. Come on. You 
can do it. Just a little more. I know what I'll do it. I'll throw a block on there. Mm, something small. I will put a slope. That's the wrong slope. Do this way. That's what I mean. What, you're not going to work now? Alright, well, let me reset this thing. Okay, I got it all set up. And silly me, I took a nap while I left the power on. Oh well. Uh, that's actually one of the things we're doing soon. Interest. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. That is really interesting. I didn't know the hover pads are going to react to the wheels like that. The reason why the wheels are spinning is because the hover pads are on uh, hover mode. So then they should stop. Let's go ahead and push our face into the tire, get it to stop. Yeah, that's cool. I did not know that they would react that way. Yeah, there you go, it starts spinning again. Cool. Learn something new every day. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down. Uh, yeah, don't be rolling anywhere. Okay. You're good. So what it is, I try to get the best I could see how it works. I don't know what's going to happen on the slope. They might be too far away. But it's an idea to try. But we're going to just see what happens here. And then I'm going to be wanting to work on like a mini roller coaster. Um, if you don't know what it is. Or, well, oh, sorry. Uh, when I was a kid, we had this... Uh, I don't know what it was called. It was like this little penguin toy and it had these little penguins that went up like a little staircase ladder went down a little slide that did like a figure eight and then they went back up the ladder and went all the way around like that and i want to try to do something like that uh using the the hover pads as an elevator I sort of have an idea basically one facing up one facing forward and just step it up and then see if we can get it to go down a little track on its own but anyways let's see what happens here wants to. It really does. I think they're uh, too far away. Because they're technically pushing here. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't save it. Actually, let's see if we get this thing will roll back. If we roll back, I'll push it back and readjust those hover pads. Oh, perfect. Alright, let me change those up. Let's try this again. What, can I seriously not push this thing? Stupid auto saves. There we go. This is what I mean about the this the snapping grid on the the blocks. Like for some reason, even though you don't see it, you can feel it. Uh, you can feel it with the wheels. You can feel it with uh, uh, the spheres, for instance. Anyways, let's see what this does. I moved them out one, so hopefully they actually touch it. <laughs> oh, wow. That was worth a shot. Uh, the problem is it's too steep of an angle to really get the hover pads in there properly, and it's because of the fact that I'm on a 45, and it's almost like they're pushing to up against the wall. I should have them facing up, but then... This thing would be a satellite right now. But anyways. So, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and actually I do have to get a whole bunch of resources for this because it's going to be a lot of plates and frames. And I might actually use this area here. It's not going to be too big. Probably 100 meters or so. You know, I'm just going to have a... Oh, that was a rover going back down. Uh, you know, just a little staircase up. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the one hyper pad on the bottom, like I said, pu pushing up, and the other one above it pushing forward. Uh, I actually used that for something, and I can't remember what it was. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, let's let's do this.
Okay, there she is. As you can see, I did have a little bit of trouble building it. Uh, uh, I wasn't accounting for how much downslope there was, so I wasn't going high enough. Uh, realistically, I should have been higher, even, yeah, maybe up to about here, so I could have gotten a little more going this direction, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, I think for the first time ever in any build I've ever done, uh, mainly because half of the videos I've done have been in creative, uh, I'm going to leave the frames open like that. The only reason why they're there is just as a guardrail to keep the ball on the track, right? Uh, I do have all the hover pads configured. I do have them connected to the switchboards. All I gotta do is place a generator. The problem is, though, is I have 40 ho hover pads here, so I need 6,000 power. So we're gonna have to pull out the big guy here, uh, which actually looks a lot smaller than it actually is. But it's not as big as you would expect it to be. And then what I'm gonna do is. Let's just go ahead and plop that right there. Okay, and then we just go ahead and connect that to that. And then hopefully, hopefully I can get some fuel, which I had over in here. My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Oh yeah, it's, it's in the container. Oh, okay, I had to double check. I thought it was using power for some reason. No, I connected this already, did I not? Yes, I did. Because I actually want to put a second one on here. Uh, actually, no, I guess it doesn't really matter. It was just going to be something to turn off, but whatever, turn it off anyways. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about doing was having like a... A little loading, unloading area so we can get multiples going around, try to get them to go in a loop. And then that way we can just open up a gate and have them go inside and then come back out. But you know, I was starting to realize that was a little bit too much. Uh, I just do have to do a quick check here, make sure, all the, all, make sure all the hover pads are facing the right way and turned on. And uh, I'm not going to bother going through the menu making sure they're all on hover mode because I know they are. Alright, now, now to put this guy to good use. My ball boy. I don't know what I'm going to have to call this thing. Okay, let's try to hop in. Well, we got to turn the power on first. And... Yeah, we'll get the yellow and black ball. I was going to try to change the color on it, but I think this will be fine. And then, if I am right, it should be a perpetual motion thing. Yes, I do need a better way to do this. But it works. It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to rebuild these things all the time. So, I think... Yeah, let's take it right to the top. I was going to say that. Oh, make it, make it. Yeah, good shot. See, now there's the problem. Let's hope it's not a problem. We got it in there anyways. Let's get this thing off. On the ground, we'll get out of the first third person here. So we can actually see what I'm doing. All right, up we go. Up, out, oh, not in there. I'm wondering if it actually caught the frame. I wonder if they have a different hitbox. Alright, let's see what happens. Should work. It would if I had that hover pad plugged in. And now it's stuck. Um, hmm. Well, I think I can get in here. Well, yes, I can, because I left too much room. And 
I just had a thought here. Before entering heavy equipment, always turn the power off. You know, for safety's sake. I think I'll remove the side panel here. But yeah, anyway, so this is the elevator. It's uh, This pushes up, that pushes forward, this pushes up, that pushes forward. So there's a staircase and it's way up. Uh, the railings are just here to keep the ball from flying out. Oh, I might have to take apart a hover pad here. Uh oh. Oh, we're good. Alright, let's try this again. First I will put, not that. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Why is that so far over? What did I do wrong here? Nothing. I'm just being an idiot. But why doesn't it place there then? Sorry, I, I want to figure this out. I got that hover pad in the wrong plot, spot. No. What have I done? Oh, I wonder if it's getting tricked on the, the ball or something. I don't know. Let me, give me a second. I know what's going on. Wish I realized this first. So I have it turned around. That's why. I forgot there was a sort of a left and a right. But anyways, so now, now it's actually working. Let's see what happens here. Okay, up it goes. Now where is it? Is it coming down? It is. Yeah, I was almost thinking about having just a, another pusher pad at the corners here just to help it. Just in case things like that happen. And I think I might actually do that. Just four hover pads, one, one in each corner. Definitely should be rolling a lot faster for something that's supposedly weighs half a ton. Oh, screenshot time. I want to see if it can make that entire, entire loop on its own. And I think it might. As long as it keeps its momentum going, it's that last turn that bothers me. For that second turn. That's beautiful. That's awesome. It actually worked. You a little bit of bump, and you roll down. And, perfect. I do it one more. Let's see how she runs. Using 6,000 watts, it's a lot of juice for a toy. Not even a toy, something to watch. Sometimes I wonder about the, the hitbox on these things. That's actually let me see it. But I always wonder if it's got a different hitbox when it's finished than when it's a basic frame. 
Hey, we made it. Two runs in a row. And... There we go. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.